1851, London, in the reign of Queen Victoria, the Great Exhibition. Six million visitors have come to see a hundred thousand exhibits, showcasing the British Empire at its height. The time says it would take 200 hours to see it all. It was, look at us, we're the coolest people on the planet. It was symbolic of, of all the good things that we could possibly do culturally. It was a big pat on the back for the British public. The first nation to industrialize, Britain leads the world in manufacture, trade, and engineering. But at a terrible human cost. The Victorians must now face the challenges of filthy, overcrowded industrial cities. Crime, poverty, disease, and vice. The Industrial Revolution is at the same time heaven and hell. It is paradise and inferno. But the Great Exhibition reflects only the Empire's achievements. Housed in a dazzling crystal palace, constructed with 290,000 panes of glass, it's six times bigger than St. Paul's Cathedral, the size of ten football pitches. There in the middle of Hyde Park, this huge palace, this edifice was erected, which was filled with all the objects that we were proud of. And it must have been quite magical as Londoners weaved through this glass palace and, uh, and marveled at what was now possible.